Hey friend, my name is Tiffany Wallace and I see you. You're showing up in your life to the best of your abilities, but you're not feeling like you're making an impact or getting farther than you were yesterday. At the same time, you're a busy working woman who wears many hats and oh man, I get it. I know how hard it is to integrate your passions in your work and life. I'm here to inspire you through goal setting that is partnered with your priorities and values so you can operate in a life that actually fills your cup. You don't have to be overweighted or overwhelmed in just one area anymore. It's time for you to become a well-integrated woman. Welcome back to the show. I'm really excited to kick off today. We are going to be talking about three things that you must do to pass six figures in an online business or a side hustle if you have one. For any high-achieving women, multi-passionate women out there, we're going to be digging into three things, and that is goal setting, intentional boundaries, and taking action. But here's the thing, guys. Even if you don't have a business or a side hustle, you are going to find so much value in today's episode. I'm really excited to give you all the juice. So we are going to be taking these things, and I'm going to be giving you these top tips on how to do this and how to get started with goal setting, setting intentional boundaries, and really how to take action on those things that you want to do. So before we dig in, I want to let you know that if you are loving all this content and you want to learn more about how to become the leader of your life through goal setting, habit creation, routines, all the juicy stuff, I am doing a free two-day workshop on May 17th and 18th, save the date, the Goal Crafter Masterclass. It's totally free. We're going to be going through how you can basically achieve any goal that you set in your business or in your life the easy way. So come on over, follow the link in the show notes, and you can make sure you join the group. And that way you have all the details on this, save the date. I cannot wait to see you there because what we're going to be talking about is really going to help equip you and really help you take action over and over again. And you guys know, if you've been listening for a while, I'm all about the mindset piece. I'm all about the action piece, but also giving you tools that you can rinse and repeat because when you're in a growth journey, whether in your career, as a mom, in your business, as an ambitious woman, multi-passionate in general, you need things, skills and strategies that you can come back to as your life evolves, as your why evolves, all that kind of stuff. So that happens. And if you would like more support with all of this at any time, right at your fingertips, I just launched Leadership Integration School. Head on over to Instagram, give that a follow, Leadership Integration School. And this is going to really give you strategies at your fingertips, really help equip you to live your highest and best self that you, I know you want to do, whether you're building a business, if you're ambitious, if you're focused on growth in your career, or if you're a stay-at-home mom who knows that having a strategy and systems, mindset tips, leadership skills in general, and how to be the mom that you want to be is just as important at home as it is in your life's work, as it is in our work work. If you're committed to becoming your highest and best self in general, growing as a person and really being the leader of your life from the inside out, which is what I fully believe and what you guys hear me talk about a lot, then be sure to follow Leadership Integration School on Instagram. Be sure to also follow me at Tiffany G. Wallace on Instagram because I'm sharing tips on there to help support you and make sure you follow and join our support group as well on Facebook that is linked in the show notes. And that is where the free training will be on May 17th and 18th. And I am always on uh, my personal um, Instagram account at Tiffany G. Wallace. I am always sharing tips along everything I talk about as well, and how I am with you all navigating all of this as well and giving you the real, real, how I'm implementing all that I share in my real life as a mom, as a high achieving, multi-passionate woman who is also scaling a business and a career. So join me over there for all some more fun. So let's dive into today's topic. We're going to be talking about three things you must do to pass six figures again like I mentioned, in an online business side hustle. But even if you do not have an online business or side hustle, what we're talking about today is going to help you scale in your career. It's going to help you be more intentional overall with whatever kind of growth that you want, either in your home, in your work. These three tips can also be applied to you. So it's just going to really help you have so much value in today's episode. So trust me. 
you can be the leader of your life from the inside out, leading yourself first, then that's going to help you rise up in all that you do, you guys, because that's what happens when you focus on growing yourself in one area and be intentional with what you're doing. It spills over into every single area of your life. I know you want results. I know that you know that output and progress is important, but I also want you to understand that operating within your strengths, your values and priorities as you are scaling and growing is just as important because if you don't have the combination, you're going to get burned out. You are not going to be able to persevere when things get tough. So it's all piece of all a piece of the puzzle. So let's dig into the first thing that you really need to keep in mind if you want to scale your business online or a side hustle. And why am I saying six figures? And the reason is you guys, when my business passed six figures, it was a game changer. For me, not only when I looked back at all the growth I had experienced as just a person, our businesses, our work, those things that we're growing in are never going to grow unless you grow yourself. It's just true. It's not. That's just how things work. And so looking back at that, how much growth I experienced only as a person, but obviously my business grew, but just as a leader leading myself and then how that leadership spilled over, because if we want to, if you want to grow, you have to raise others up with you along the way. And so really think about that. So that's why I say six figures. And from an income standpoint, I think as women, we it, the six figure mark was such a game changer for me. I felt just so different in the fact that I was actually being paid what I felt like the value I was adding, and it was a game changer for our family and just in life in general. So. I know that that is a goal for some of you who are also listening, and maybe that is not a goal for you. Regardless if not, it's okay because we all want to grow as people and be our highest and best self. And so this is going to help you with that as well. So let's dig into goal setting. I want you guys to know and to always remember, I've talked about this before, you can refine your productivity and your time management skills all day long, but those are only a piece of the puzzle and those are only going to get you so far. Your goals have to have meaning, they have to have purpose. And this is why I talk about my strong goal setting system and why it is better than smart goals. Because before we even kind of start talking about those strong goals, they really get you thinking about who are you? What are your values? What are your priorities? What are those things that you're good at? How can you build on those, your strengths and your weaknesses? And I know this may sound simple, you guys, but you would be so surprised at how many people skip over this important step. They just get straight to the goal, the action piece and go, go, go. That leads to burnout. That doesn't have meaning. And you're going to really lose your purpose along the way if you don't take the time to really think about that. And before we kind of dive in and talk about what strong goals are, I want you to understand that really thinking about these questions as the foundation for your goals is really going to help flow with you regardless of your life and your work and what season you're in. If you're feeling overweighted in your work, overweighted in your life, but more importantly, it's going to be in alignment with the vision that you have for where you want to go. And guys, if you want to scale a business and you want to scale a side hustle, you have to have a vision. Okay. Those goals give you direction. And that is why it's so important for you to kind of have that vision to understand this, okay? We generate our own realities. We do our own clarity around who we are and what's working and what's not working, why we're feeling overwhelmed and why we may be feeling underwhelmed. Usually it's why we set goals because we're kind of just feeling stuck. We feel like we want more, but really taking the time to ask these questions and what that looks like for you is really going to be such a great foundation and really thinking about not only the tactical piece, but Who's that person you want to become? Who's that person you want to grow into and show up when you achieve these goals? All right. So strong goals. What are strong goals? First of all, remember, you want to set goals because they gave you direction. You want to think about those questions I just gave you of the foundation because you got to get that purpose piece, that passion piece, who you are, that you value as a person, build your goals on top of that with your vision. So you want your goals to be specific, all right? You want them to be specific because if your goals are just kind of fluffy, then you're not going to be making progress on them and you're going to be spinning your wheels. You want your goals to be tactical, all right? You want them to be tactical. You want them to be 
realistic, guys. Like, are they really going to apply to you? All right. You're going to want goals that are actually going to be something that you're going to, that's achievable. Because if you set goals that are way too high, then you're not, you're going to be unmotivated from the very beginning. And what I mean by tactical, you guys, is you are able to specifically have a plan on what you need to do to get there. All right. So we have specific tactical, they need to be realistic goals, meaning they're actually something that you're able to do. So you don't totally paralyze yourself before you even get started and you want to be able to take ownership of them. So with that, you want to be able to track them. You want to be able to have habits that are going to be able to support them. Something that if you don't take ownership over your goals and actually put things in action, it's not going to happen. Okay. They need to also be non-negotiable. So this is the in and strong. If you are making this goal, it is a promise to yourself. It needs to be something that you're going to stick to and it's non-negotiable. And the last thing, it needs to be genuine, meaning it needs to be authentic to you and to your heart and your soul and your vision and who you are. Like you want to make sure that this goal is in alignment with your definition of success, your vision, and who you want to grow into as a person. So you want to make sure you have strong goals. That is the first thing. And when you think about goal setting is you've got to have goals, but they need to have these strong goals and they need to be encompassing everything that you are and where you want to go. Next thing, second thing that you need to make sure that you do as you are scaling a business to six figures or a side hustle, or just scaling in your leadership in general, you guys, you have got to have boundaries. Your boundaries have to be intentional. This is one of my favorite topics because I know I talk about living a life that's integrated or you drop balance, but you're integrating things and creating boundaries does that. And I have not always been good at this. I will tell you guys the truth. The beginning of my business, head down, working hard. When I was scaling in my teaching career and I my husband and I, Scott, did not have kids at the time. And I was not very good about having boundaries of between work and life. And I've made lots of mistakes in this area. So this is why this is important because you are going to get burned out if you don't have boundaries where you are very present and intentional with your business, your work time, and with your family time, priority time. Because if you let those things get so... Um, in competition with each other and you are only focused on work or you are only focused on family stuff, because here's going to happen, you guys, if you are only focused head down your work and you are not integrating all those other priorities in your life, like your family and your kids, you're going to reach your goals and you are going to look back and you're going to have so much regret. Or you are so focused in on your priorities, maybe family, family stuff, which is amazing, but you also have these goals in your business that you started and you're not getting to those. And then you're feeling defeated and all those imposter syndrome, all those limiting beliefs come in. You've got to have boundaries. And this is why you start with the goals, because that's going to give you vision. Your boundaries are going to let you know, okay, this is when I'm have my work time. This is when I'm focusing on that. And I am a huge believer in time blocking. This helps me set boundaries to where I know exactly when my work time is. I know what my goals are. When I'm plugging into my work, I am completely focused on that. And I have my whole month planned out, my weeks planned out, and I do my daily check-ins with myself the night before. So I know exactly what I'm doing the next day and I can easily adjust and have a flexible schedule that works for me. The next thing that I want you to really think about is when you have boundaries, when you're thinking about all those other values and priorities that you have, because you want to really have that integrated process. So set boundaries, know when you have your time blocked off, when you're working on whatever you're working on to scale. And that way you can be intentional because remember guys, it's not about how much time you have, it's about how you use the time, you're intentional with the time that you do have, okay? The third thing you have to do is you've got to take action. You have to, you guys. You've got to have a plan. This ties in with boundaries, but you have to plan it out. If you do not put in your calendar when you're actually working on the things that you need to work on to grow in your business, then it's not gonna happen. Or you're gonna get to that time that you do have and you're not gonna know what to do. I really, I shared this quote a while back and it is if you, an hour of planning can save you 10 hours of doing, taking a little bit of time to plan so you can actually take action, own those fears. And also you guys just getting rid of perfectionism and just getting started, knowing that it's going to be messy. You're going to just learn as you go. 
but you're going to look back and you're going to be so proud that you took action. You didn't let your fears, self-doubts, all those things paralyze you because you had goals. Your goals were in alignment with you. You had intentional boundaries. You had flexible scheduling and you actually took action and you learned along the way. And when you have goals and you have a vision, you're going to be able to handle all those ups and downs so much better. Okay. So those are the three things that you really must do to pass six figures in an online business or a side hustle. Or if you are just someone who you want to scale in your career, or you want to be an incredible leader at home as a mom, these are things to think about guys of what are your goals? What are your, what's your vision? What boundaries do you have? So you're not feeling overweighted or overwhelmed in any one area and you can easily adjust and have that flexibility. And how are you taking action on these things to promote the change that you want? Because as an ambitious, high achiever, multi-passionate woman, these three things are really, really going to help you. So let's wrap things up today. And if this really resonated with you in any way, head on over, leave a review. I love hearing from you guys. Head on over and join our Facebook support group. And don't forget to save the date for the Goal Crafter Masterclass on May 17th and 18th. And this per- this masterclass, you guys, is really going to be for you. If you are an achiever, you're ambitious, you're a driven woman, you feel overweighted or overwhelmed in any area, you might be stuck in the comparison game. You might know that You want to grow your business. You want to scale in your career. You want to grow yourself as a mom, to show up as a mom that you want to be because you know being a leader at home is just as important as being a leader in your work that you're doing. And you want direction on how to be overall the best leader of your life and your work and an approach that is your highest self and your best self and really on the things that light you up. This masterclass, join me. It's two days. It's completely free, you guys. Goal Crafter Masterclass. I'm going to be teaching you how to become the leader of your life through goal setting and habit creation. You don't want to miss it. So head on over to our Facebook group and I cannot wait to see you there. And head on over, leave a review. Give me some feedback on today if today's episode resonated with you in any way. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you guys next week. Hi friend, thank you so much for listening today. My goal is to help as many women as possible. So real quick before you go, if you found value in today's episode, if it was helpful to you, inspired you, or you learned something new, would you take a minute of your time to rate or review this podcast on iTunes? Also take a screenshot for me, share it to your social media and tag me because together we can empower, educate, and shift the way other high achieving women start to integrate their life and work because we truly can live our days the way we were made to. Also, if you're looking for additional support, feel free to find me on Instagram at Tiffany G. Wallace or head to my website at TiffanyGWallace.com and you're welcome to join our free, well-integrated woman community. Until next time.